Uh, Sunday, June 9th, I am uh, working on a uh, new uh, sightseeing with Dignity Human Rights art series drawing um, of Chico Mendez, the uh, slain, murdered uh, environmental rainforest activist uh, in Brazil, Chico Mendez. And uh, this wing is uh, one from my collection. I've actually used it in at least two or three drawings in the Under the Wings of God series. And uh, compositionally, uh, it fits here. So I'm going to first do a uh, kind of pencil outline and then kind of a light penciling of the different, uh, different feathers. And then I'll start uh, doing the detail work in... Uh, using a fine point uh, pen with uh, India ink to be continued. Greetings, to de bem, buongiorno, etc. June 22nd, 2013. I believe I've finished, although I'm going to sit in a day or two, see if I want to add anything else. Uh, the drawing of Chico Mendez, the slain Brazilian Amazonian environmental rights activist, born in 1944, murdered at age 44 in 1988. There are five major sections of the drawing, beginning with the portrait here, which I drew from a black and white photograph of Mendez, which I printed from the internet unattributed as to who took the photo. Now going uh, clockwise, starting at lower left, a uh, bird's wing, uh, which I own, <coughs> uh, which I drew in uh, India ink. There are a couple of sections of an old leather book cover. I cut up and uh, collaged on and did uh, drew on as well. At upper left, uh, my depiction of a one portion of a uh, wandering Jew plant, which is uh, one of the ones hanging up here uh, among all the uh, hanging vines. There's a whole lot of them, as well as some other pots where they're just thriving uh, in the sun down here. These are all wandering Jew, and they're all from. Uh, a very small plant I had brought back, which was almost dead, uh, barely alive, which had belonged to the late Seattle artist and activist Selma Waldman. And it was, after she passed on, I was helping clear out her house in Seattle, box books and so on, and uh, the plant was uh, sitting on a rickety bookshelf on the sidewalk to be thrown out. And I took it home, and it thrived. So that's where that image came from. Um, at lower right, we have a, um, a postman butterfly, which I uh, drew from a uh, children's book I got from Seattle Public Library, uh, DK Eyewitness Books, Butterfly and Moth. There's the uh, cover. And a uh, section on mimicry and other unusual behaviors. So the two butterflies in the book played here on page 57. These are Brazilian postmen. And here we have the uh, Ecuadorian version at, uh, at left. Very similar, but there are different uh, kind of color patterning sections between the Ecuadorian and Brazilian versions. Uh, and I did the drawing also on this old leather, portion of an old leather book cover from around 1901-02, um, which I'd also used the portion of in a old Under the Wings, in an earlier drawing in the Under the Wings of God Holika series, a drawing called Lebensraum, Lodi the Eskimo Ice Cream Drawing, which is stitched on one section of that drawing. The last portion of the artwork I did, the fifth section, is this insect here, and I'm not going to film or photograph the photo itself because of copyright restrictions has uh, but I'll show the uh, cover of the book which I highly encourage or recommend people do purchase recommendations for at public libraries and or you know for school libraries and college and so on Yasuni Green Gold 
It was first published in Oxford, England by a new internationalist in 2008. The Amazon fight to keep oil underground. It's a terrific book. I love the photos in here, both of uh, indigenous uh, peoples in the Ecuadorian Amazon, as well as photographs of insects, animals, snakes, birds, and uh, plants, flora and fauna, both. So I did the uh, drawing from uh, one of uh, Moro Berzio's photos, and I'll leave up for viewers' interpretation of why I um, I've encased, uh, entwined some uh, portions of the legs of the insect in in uh, cord and string, in uh, plastic, fishing line, and in metallic thread there. There you have it. I will have this professionally photographed and then I will frame it for future exhibits, education, human rights, and the environment, of course. Uh, visiting is uh, Martin Van Buren alum oh, and classmate right. Leslie right. Lawrence of Cambridge, Mass who has uh, been an uh, instructor of English and creative writing for many years. We're looking at uh, my drawing from 2013 of Chico Mendes, the slain um, Brazilian rainforest activist. Well, one of the first things I notice in general about your work is you rarely have just one image. <laughs> uh -huh. And you combine a lot of images, and that makes me uh, think that you're telling a story that there's a or there's a, a complicated con combination of elements that speak to each other sometimes sometimes ironically I imagine in this case I see that there's collage elements too and you told me there's uh, actually yes yeah, so quite a bit four fabric. bits of actual collage from an old book cover here here, here, and here. All the rest is entirely And he was drawn. a rainforest activist? Yep, he was Brazilian, yeah. He was murdered by a, a rancher. It's interesting that he's in black and white, and the others have quite a bit of color. And this, I imagine, is insect drawn from a photo. Is this um, yeah. in, in the Amazon? Uh, yeah. By uh, Moro Berzio in the book um, Yasuni Green Gold, The Amazon Fight to Keep Oil Underground, published 2008. That was a book I got from the library. And uh, um, I mean, what I'm noticing is that the that the natural elements from the rainforest are, are very vibrant and alive mm -hmm. and textured, and he's the only one in black and. Mm -hmm. White and you say he was tortured and well, yeah, killed. He was tortured. Um, he was he was it's, shot to death though. I mean, it's a, a marvelous image, but it's mostly white, and we sense his presence, but also his absence. That's very good. Um, as a uh, response and interpretation. Uh, um, it's happened in a, with a number of drawings, both in my Human Rights, or especially in my Holocaust series, the Under the Wings of God series, where I've drawn the person in black and white, especially their mm -hmm. head, and then all the surrounding area uh, in, with a lot of color. It's just uh, uh, a happenstance of how I happen to do many works in the hu of hu human rights uh, subjects that are portrayals of people who are murdered. Right. Um, and it all, it also has a little bit of a, a newspaper image look, which uh -huh. makes That's you think of a both a, pol a politic a figure of political importance and perhaps also an obituary. Um, hmm. Hmm. Thank you. He, I'm going to uh, just do a quick uh, view of the art. Mm. Viewers? Yes. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> Greetings, November 20th, 2014. I uh, did a little bit more work on the uh, this drawing, <clears throat> which I had begun... I guess last year, it's dated uh, 2013 here. So, uh, among other things, I added 
some fragments from the homage to Paviak prison in Warsaw mixed media artwork uh, that had been uh, done uh, between summer 1984 in Ritro, Poland, southern Poland, fall 84 and winter 85, and then it was disassembled in the summer of 2010. So there are um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, drawing fragments from that dismantled work that are now part of the uh, Chico Mendes artwork. Um, one of them, uh, well, the stitching that's on this. Um, uh, insect was done uh, directly on the drawing paper that the Mendes drawing is on. Um, the stitching that's on here was actually on the Paviak prison artwork itself. <clears throat> I also um, did a couple of uh, ink uh, insect drawings here recently which I then also stitched on as I did this piece of uh, torn fabric here, which is symbolic for several reasons. So uh, it's going to be framed this weekend in a uh, kind of warm wood frame, which I think will work really nicely with this coloration. And uh, especially thinking of the Amazon, the Brazilian Amazon, and all the kind of earth colors that are there. Um, the work will be exhibited in January in a group show focusing on human rights. Uh, also be included of mine will be the mosaic drawing combo called Multiple Amputee Awaiting Deportation, um, Woodge, Poland. Um, and uh, that will be at Cascadia Community College in Bothell, Washington suburb city near Seattle. There you have it, Chico Mendez murdered for his activism on behalf of indigenous peoples and to save the rainforest. Uh, January 22nd, 2015, I am in the uh, Cascadia Community College Gallery here. And I uh, was chatting with uh, a first or second year student. Second year. Second year student named Ali Ali, Ali Gutierrez. And we were talking about my uh, drawing of uh, Chico Mendez, and he had some uh, interesting observations there. Oh, yeah. Um, what I really enjoyed about seeing in this art piece was uh, the different aspects of art uh, incorporated. So the cutout pieces. The, the yarn that's sewed into uh, some of the, the, the art pieces that are attached to it. Uh -huh. uh, I thought it was really interesting. And then also the drawing in the middle of the, um, the man that, was inspi that inspired you to uh, yeah. pursue this art piece. I thought it was really interesting. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. So, um, so um, I'll just point out a couple of things here. So this these plants I drew here from plants that are in my apartment. My studio is in my apartment. But these, all the, most of these like drawing sections that are around here, they're kind of collaged on because like, I pasted them down. But I mean, they're drawings that I did, but a drawing I did from a drawing I did like 1985 was like, or 84 was like, like 30 years ago. But, uh, and it, it kind of, they worked all these sections to me in terms of, of uh, thinking of him in the Amazon. And I think of Amazon as like jungle, water, insects, snakes, all, all sorts of things come to mind. But particularly with all the greens and stuff. Um, even though, and I had done the drawing on a mountainside in Poland, which is another side of the world from like Brazil in the Amazon, but my notes here said butterflies, beads, large spiders on paper. So um, some things, you know, cross, happen all over the place, you know. 
you can have butterflies, bees, and lodge spiders on paper in a mountain in southern Poland, just like you, you would in, like in the Amazon in Brazil and the two other countries that the Amazon uh, uh, is part of, you know? So, um, anyway, anything you want to add? Um, oh yeah, the the coloring in it is uh, really like it, it stands out a lot. Um, the the part where you uh, just left black and white in the center, mm -hmm. and then all the other uh, interesting colors that surround it, it just really uh, makes it a whole um, art piece. Well, that's cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let me know if you end up uh, as like curator of some major art museum in 10 years or something. I'll be really old by then, but you know, that, that's excellent. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ali. And I should uh, say hello here myself before I sign off. All right.